Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run here with Banbury United FC. And we are still chasing 50 points in the league because we have hit our midseason slump. Can we crawl and scrape and climb our way out of this? I don't know. Let's get right into the episode. All right, here we are. As you can see, we have not won a game since you guys were last with us. In fact, the last episode you guys were with us, we had not won a game either because the two games we played, Wrexham and Maidstone, were both losses. Uh, we went up against Torquay and lost to them uh, two to nothing. Uh, we went up against Gateshead and had the game drawn up with a goal from Kwasi, and then they took a light goal there in the 80th minute and got the win. Uh, we then had our game against Hampton and Richmond. Thought this was going to be a victory. We went up 2-1 uh, to one with a pair of penalties from Riley. And then they got an 88th minute equalizer to ruin our chances of three points in this game. So we are still, like I said, chasing 50 points. We're only on 47 points at the moment. I mean, I'm not worried about relegation, but we still want to sit, you know, look decent, right? We don't want to like just completely stumble down the, the table here. So... Let's hope that we can get a little bit better today. Uh, the new guys that we've brought in have just not really stepped up and done well. Uh, could be the formation. Maybe maybe this is all telling me that teams are finally figuring out our formation. It's time to make some changes. We will see. I probably, if we don't get any sort of result in today's episode, expect some sort of formation change by next episode. That That's probably what I'm going to be going for. Partly because if we can't get something going now, I need to start figuring out what formation we're going to go into next season with so that we can start getting the right players next season to support that. So that's kind of where we're at. But for now, we're sticking with the same formation. Here is the team we're bringing. We've got, uh, actually, do I want to keep Terrell and go? Actually, we're going to bring Hall back on a goal. Uh, other than that, Hall's in goal. Bailey on the left. Charles Cook on the right. Wakely and Fowler in the middle. Cooper, Raleigh, and Jeffries as our midfield three. And Kwasi, Fremantle, and Pollock as our front three. Let's see if we can get something today. Just three points gets us the 50. And that's then I can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. And we can kind of just kind of coast in from there, basically. I mean, I'm sure the supporters would rather we continue to win. But we're fighting bravely against relegation, we will have succeeded if, uh, with that if we can just get the 50 points, I think. I mean, like I said, plus or minus a few points, you know, season over season to each season kind of, kind of changes what that bottom number is. 50 is a good place to start. And we'll go from there. Wakely with the free kick here. Uh, not able to get to one of our guys, unfortunately. There's Charles Cook picking that one up. Gets it over to Riley. Riley over to Bailey on the left-hand side. Bailey gets it across. Jeffries, oh my goodness. That's what we've been seeing a lot of. Just almost goals. Almost goals. That just not quite enough. Uh, it's been so frustrating. But we see this a lot. We see these mid-season slumps a lot with a lot of teams. So I'm not going to try and... Stress too, too much. Oh, there's a there's a penalty right there. I mean, just as many penalties as we give up, we've been getting a lot ourselves. So let's hope Riley can go ahead and bury this one and get us up on the board here. Nice. Good job, Riley. Let's keep it up, buddy. Corner kick for Dorking, and of course they get up equalizer. Goodness. Ah, this is how, this is the story of our last few games. Just, we do something good, then we do something bad. And then we do something good, then we do something bad. And eventually one of them, well, so far, the bad has out, outweighed the good. I mean, I feel like we're playing better than Dorking right now, but we just can't can't get the goals. But they can. We can't get nothing. They're getting the goals that they need. It's just... <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to say it's the formation entirely because I do feel like statistically we've played well. We've created chances. We just haven't been able to convert those chances. 
And our goalkeepers are just... We just can't find a good goalkeeper. Hall had some signs of, of good stuff early on. And then, then he just starts giving up goal after goal after goal. I mean, I don't know how much of that one's this fault, but... Still feel like... I feel like if we'd made that kind of shot against the other team, they would have they would have saved that type of goal. Let's see if we can get something here in the second half. Fremantle has just been a complete unfortunate failure. I mean, he, and maybe it's the position, maybe it's the formation. Um, so maybe if I make some changes, it, things could change with that. But for now, complete failure. All right, we're gonna bring Cooper out of here, bring Bobos into that spot. Usually what I do in a situation like this is I go through all my team members and I figure out what their position, their best position is. Like just straight up best position and best uh, role within that position. And then I see if there's a formation that I can fit to that. Find the player's strengths and fiddle formation to their strengths. And then, then sometimes that works. Um, so we might be leaning towards that here soon. Sooner than expected, actually. I don't think statistically we should be losing by two goals, but I mean, what are you going to do? Fremantle comes definitely comes out here. Harkin, I guess Harkin come in there in the middle. We're also going to turn on and get stuck in. See if we can get get something back here. I mean, it's just falling apart here at the end. I mean, this isn't formation, right? This is just bad set piece play. I mean, there's plenty of guys I want to swap out. I'm actually going to swap out the goalkeepers. Because I want to prove to him that I'm disappointed in his play. If nothing else, I want to prove a point. I mean, if we get at least one goal back, I mean, I'll feel a little bit better. I feel like we've played fine. We just can't get the goals to go in. Same number of shots, same number of shots on target. Three less goals. I mean, it's just a bit unexplainable sometimes. But... Uh, just, just. Mm. I mean, look at this: 63% possession, 81% pass completion, 2.11 xg. I mean, it just there's no reason statistically we should have lost this game. It just doesn't make sense. Ugh. We're going to give it one more shot in this next game. And then, then like I said, I'm going to try and play around with the formation a bit, I guess. It's been a successful season, though. I can't, I can't let go of that. I say that. I suppose, theoretically, we could lose out the entire rest of the season and still not get our 50 points. <laughs> it's still technically possible. But hopefully not. I mean, surely we'll get something here in a bit. Uh, but we'll be right back for game number two against Ambath. All right, we're back for game number two against Bath. A few changes in the team. We got Terrell coming back into the goal for now. Uh, Jacob on the left, Hickman on the right, Wakeley and McAvoy in the middle, Cooper Sharif and Babos across the midfield, and Kawasi Fremantle and Harkin as our striker threes. Uh, Pinch or not Pinchard, uh Pollock has just played atrociously bad over the last several games. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. We see what this does for us. Uh, let's go. Everybody seems a little bit motivated today coming into this game, so good good start there. Can we get anything from this, though? There's Harkin with the ball. He's going to be able to get control of it. He's going to save control. He's going to be able to... Nope, he's going to lose it right there. Just a little too much something or another. I don't know. And then here they come, and I'm probably going to score here. I 
It's been disallowed, but not because we did anything, right? Come on, guys. Get some control here. McAvoy, Babos, not able to get on that one. Still not able to get control. We're just not getting what we need. I feel like the team is starting to lose a little bit of hope. <laughs> uh, then you give up something like that. I mean, come on. Hmm. Good move, Harkin. Bad move, Harkin. Had a chance to do something there with the goalkeeper out of position. Oh, oh I handed the ball. I don't think statistically we're playing poorly. I mean, we've got good possession. Um, passing's near 80%. I mean, we're getting shots. We only had one on target so far, but we're putting pressure on. I mean, I just it's not like we're just falling completely flat. We're just not getting those types of, of looks. These lucky looks is what it looks like. I mean, these are just everything. Everything that goes near our net goes in. And maybe that's 100% goalkeeper. Um, I don't know. I still don't think these stats tell you that we're losing two to nothing. I just, it's so unexplainable sometimes. Ugh. All right. Well, looks like Mr. Jacob is playing pretty poorly. We don't really have anybody can go in there. So you're just gonna have to suck it up, sir. Who's next on the hit list? I mean, can we bring Hickman out, I guess, on that yellow card? There's Jeffries on the right-hand side. We know he's an exciting player, so playing him in a different position can sometimes make... Make some changes. There we go. There's Bob was picking up a goal finally. His third goal of the season. We're not out of this yet. All right, let's do another change here, though. Um, Jacob's still playing atrociously bad. Fremantle in danger of getting booked on a 6.5. We'll bring, I guess we'll bring Pollock into this spot. Give him a chance to play. No, you know what? We're going to swap him with Kwasi. Get, put Pollock back in his normal spot. I mean, again, we're getting shots. We're getting shots on target, honestly. Six shots on target. It's not bad. What do we got left? We got two defenders. All right, you're going to come in here for Cooper. 
And we'll bring Charles Cook into here, I guess. Come on, guys. Incredible save. Now the rest of the team's got to do their job. Bob was with a free kick. Pollock is in the area. Just not his usual awesome goal from a header. I don't know if Pollock has scored in a very, very long time. Pollock is near this one, not able to get on it, unfortunately. All right, there's McAvoy. Bobos with the ball. Harkins not able to get control. Just can't get anything going. Jacob now with the ball, gets it up. Pollock still can't get on that one. We're just we're just lobbing it. We're just lobbing it, hoping that one of these guys can get on it, and they're just not. Which, yeah, <laughs> to some degree that makes some sense. I mean, why why are we just doing that? Why are we why don't we try and work our way up the field a little bit better? I mean, maybe the instructions are. I mean, do we have? Oh, I don't really want to see your goal again, my friend. Um, no, I have working into the box. Shorter passing. So why are we lobbing it up the field? Pollock to Harkin. Harkin making some moves. Still, we're just not getting the... We're not getting the luck to fall our way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't typically, you know, <laughs> believe in the luck, to be honest. But, I mean, there's a little bit of... RNG in a video game like this, so we're just, I mean, this is statistically fine. Maybe at most we're drawing, but still a little crazy that we'd be drawing with this much. Um, not losing by two goals. This does not make sense. I don't, it's hard to say it's something wrong with the formation. Because I do, what am I going to do? Get less passing, less possession, less shots, less shots on target, then, then somehow win? I mean, is that is that the, the, the recipe for success here? But we're going to have to make some changes somewhere. So expect that between now and the next episode. Something, something's going to change in the fourth, fourth formation somewhere. Even though, again, I really, it's hard for me to believe that it's entirely the formation. It's just we're just not getting the balls to fall our way, and they're falling our opponent's way every single time. Oh, I agree. I agree that the tactics are bad. So, well, I say the tactics are bad. I agree that we need tactical change. I don't know if I 100% agree that the tactics are bad. We knew we were going to change out of them eventually because this is this is just fun tactic for lower leagues. But I still think we could have. I still think we are doing fine, just not getting the goals. But supposedly the goals are important. I, I don't know where I've heard that from, but supposedly that's uh, an important part of the game. So, like I said, I'm just going to go away. I'm going to go see who's who our best players are, see what their best positions are, and come up with some sort of tactic that fits that, hopefully. So, uh, next game you guys will see will be somewhere down here, probably Exeter, Yeovil, something like that, or Farnborough. Somewhere in this area. Give me a good four games or so. 
Probably Exeter is probably the next game we'll come back for. So that'll give me four games to try out on New Tactic with. And you guys will know when I know if it's going to be worth anything. Just got to get a few more points just to avoid relegation. And then we can we can plan for next season. So I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.